As a second example of array manipulation, we will look at an example where we will work with an array of characters. An array of characters is called a string. So a string then is defined as an array of characters that is null terminated. So I can I can define an array for here here's an example of an array um, which which describes a name so let's say a name now if I if I want to leave the size out um, I, I can leave it out by not putting it in the square brackets so I declare an array and I can specify like for example this is John Smith so so an array declared this way will result in allocation in memory where we will see a name and the location 0 will have j in it. Notice that the quotes don't go inside. The location 1 of the name will have an o and h and n and s m i t h and the last location anytime you declare an array will have a zero in it this is what null termination means so null terminated means that the last element will have a zero it's automatically inserted by the compiler when it produces the code as a result of this statement so so let's look at an example uh, problem where we can use arrays of arrays of characters or strings so the problem I'm going to look at is the problem is is count the number of occurrences of the letter J in a given string. So again, in order to demonstrate this, we will write a subroutine. I'm going to call the subroutine J count. And J count obviously is going to return a number. I'm going to make it return a unsigned long. Now it could be, I don't have to say unsigned long, but I'm just trying to give you an example because the number cannot be a negative number. So I'm saying it returns an unsigned long. And it takes as input a string. of some arbitrary length, so I don't specify what the length is, that is null terminated. So notice that I'm not specifying the size because the way I'm going to manipulate this array is I will keep looking at characters till I find a null to end my search for a j or a count of a j. So again, I'm going to initialize some local variables and unsigned long. And I'm going to keep a count. So I'm specifying count and an index i. And I will initialize my count to 0 because I haven't in read anything yet. And i also to 0 
since I haven't done anything. I haven't looked at any location yet. So unlike a situation where we know we're going to look at all items and we know ahead of time how many items are there in the array, here we do not know how many items are there in the array. So a natural way of looking at it is a while loop. A while loop, so I'm going to say while the item I'm looking at, because I'm looking at the ith item, so I'm going to say while string of i is not equal to, so that's a not equal to with an exclamation followed, it's, a not, it's not equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, it means that I have still some item that I can check whether it's a zero or not. I say I go in and I don't know whether this item is a I or not, so I'm going to do if string of I is equal to, so that's a double equal to the character J, and I have to put the character J in quotes, a single quotes like that, then I'm going to increment the count. Count plus plus will increment it. If it's not the character J, then I don't have anything to do. So I'm going to simply increment i. So I come here, I increment i by 1. So then I go back into my while loop and I look at the next item and the next character if it's not equal if, if I haven't reached the end then I check for its being i if it's an i I increment other account otherwise I don't and I keep repeating this so if I come out of this loop this while loop it means that I've reached the end so I'm gonna return count which has the value that I'm looking for and then I close my my braces for the subroutine so to summarize then, an array is, a, is always null terminated and the check in my, in my while loop is going to be to check for the null termination and the body of my while loop is simply whatever logic I'm doing. In this case, the logic is to check whether the letter I is, is the letter that I'm, uh, is the letter that I in the in the location I'm just looking at and I increment my count because that's the body.